dear students in this video i am going to share with you how to visualize the formula for area of trapezium so we will be doing an activity so you can see on the screen there is a trapezium and i have taken the sides parallel sides of the trapezium as the bigger one is small a and uh, smaller side is b and the distance between the parallel side is represented by h so what you have to do is first you have to drop perpendiculars and uh, you can see that uh, the trapezium can be divided into a rectangle and uh, two right triangles and see in the next diagram what uh, we have done is we have taken the triangle which has been formed by joining the two right triangles and a rectangle so now look at the dimensions of the rectangle i am going back to the previous uh, figure so you see the dimension of the rectangle is uh, uh, one side is h and uh, other side is b so here it is labeled as b and h so you see the triangle which has been formed by joining two right triangles the base of uh, the triangle is a minus b now you have to tell me why it is a minus b you can clearly see the two figures and uh, height of this triangle is h so now you see that uh, the area of trapezium should be equal to area of the rectangle plus the area of the triangle which has been formed so what is the area of rectangle whose sides are b and h yes it is length into breadth so we use that formula so we get b into h plus what is the area of the triangle we form it we calculate it by half base into height so this will be half a minus b into h so add the two together you can take h common simplify and after simplification you will see that the result is coming out to be h into a plus b upon 2 so we can say that uh, area of the uh, trapezium is equal to half into h into some of the parallel sides so i hope uh, it is clear to all of you uh, you do this activity in your notebook thank you